Hi and welcome to my math class. Today we're doing a revision of grade 9 graphs. Now the main thing about grade 9 graphs was you had to learn how to draw a Cartesian plane. Now if you pay attention to the Cartesian plane, we have 0 in the center and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But what I'm trying to show you is that we are increasing the numbers as we go away from the zero line. On the right hand side is positive. Then on the left hand side, we've got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. So we are going negative on the left hand side. And then for the y axis, so remember this is your x axis that we have just discussed. Now, for your y axis, when we are going on top, we are doing positive. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And negative will be down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. What is important is that the distance between each number must be the same. You can't decide to have a graph like this. Okay, so I'm doing one year and then I decided, hey, you know what, I'll do two days. And then I'll do three year and I'll do four year. You can't work without a scale. You have to work with a scale and the scale has to be consistent on each plane. Now, what does that mean? When it has to be consistent on each plane, you can have a graph that looks like this, where I can have small lines here. But remember the same. So let's say here I'm having a distance of half a centimeter. So I'm having one, two, three, four, five. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. On this centimeter, on this line, I have a half a centimeter gap between each number. I can have on this line. A bigger gap. But what is important is that when you have a scale, when you have a scale, the horizontal line must have one scale. So you can't have a different scale on this side and a different scale on this side. You must have one scale for the entire horizontal line. So if one side is half a centimeter, the left hand side must be half a centimeter, the right hand side must be half a centimeter. If you're working with the vertical scale, it must be the same. So the top scale must be the same as the bottom scale. So what we're saying is that a line has to have the same scale, but the entire graph does not need to have the same scale. So the horizontal and the vertical line does not have to have the same scale. But the entire horizontal line must have the same scale, the entire vertical line must have the same scale. Now let us go to drawing the graph. When I give you a graph, f of x is equal to 5x minus 20. What you should be used to is x-intercept where y is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to 5x minus 20. What I'm doing is I'm putting my 0 in place of my y. Then you solve. So we have 5x is equal to 20 divided by 5 we have x is equal to 4. Now what is my coordinate? x is 4 and y from my previous knowledge is 0. Then we're going to do the y-intercept. y-intercept means x is equal to 0. So again, I'm going to use my same equation, but wherever x is, I'm putting 0. So what do I have? y is equal to minus 20. What is my coordinate? x is 0. I have stated that on top. Now, what is my y minus 20? So if you were drawing it on your Cartesian plane, you'd have, let's say I've got 2, 4, 6, and you have got minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, and then you have got 10, 20, minus 10, minus 20. So what I'm showing you is, my horizontal scale and my vertical scale does not have to be the same. 
but the entire vertical scale must be the same. The entire horizontal scale must be the same. My dots are on 0 and minus 20 and on 4 and 0. Then you take a ruler and you join the line. Thank you for watching.